We are in the Pacaraima Mountains, the upper Pitaro Basin, in Guyana. It's um, north of Brazil into the east of Venezuela. In the vicinity of Mount Iangana, which is the tallest peak in the country of Guyana. We are uh, conducting a mycological survey of mycorrhizae and saprotrophic fungi. Mycorrhizae are fungi that form symbiotic associations with plants, with plant roots, and they um, feed nutrients, micronutrients, and water to the plant and get uh, sugars, carbohydrates in return. About 90% of the plants on the planet form these symbioses. Well, we're doing a, a variety of studies that relate to fungal biodiversity and the interaction of fungi and rainforest trees in shaping um, plant communities and the ecology of the forest. I am a graduate student in Dr. Kathy Ames' lab at Purdue, and my project revolves around a fungus that has only been found out here. What we collect are the visible fruits of the fungus. The fungus is a microscopic organism that's growing through the substrate and most of the year you can't see it. Under certain climatic conditions it will fruit just like fruits on a tree. I'd say it's pretty remote. There's no natural human settlements around us. We fly in on a Cessna, land at an old mining camp and uh, hike in from there. So we work with um, Amerindians of the Patamona tribe. We couldn't get the first base if we didn't have a good working relationship with, with the indigenous peoples of this region. Um, the Patamona traditionally are hunter-gatherers. They have been working with us, some of the same guys, since the very, very beginning. I've gotten to know some of the same guys since 2000. So we're all getting old and decrepit together. <laughs> We've got uh, individuals that have worked with me in a research context from this community for a lot of years and uh, of extreme importance is their their understanding of how to live day to day in the forest. Because we are very very close to the equator we have about 12 hours of dark, 12 hours of light so bedtime is usually very early. Get up at sunrise, go out, collect mushrooms until about noon hike back to camp, and then start the process of describing fresh description. A big part of the appeal is the ability to find something nobody, at least in the Western world, has seen before. That's a lot of the fun. Of course, half of the fun is just being in, in, in the wilderness.